over the last 30 years? Over the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years? Over the last 30 years, we've learned that it's the inclusivity of growth that counts. So whilst growth doesn't harm the poor in an absolute sense, uh, its actual impact on the poor depends upon how it pulls the poor into the economy. Poverty is multidimensional. It's a complicated concept. It's not just about income. And there's a lot of technical work that's been done about uh, the many dimensions of poverty and aggregating them into indicators. So that's good. That's on the plus side. On the minus side is a lack of clarity about which of those dimensions are really the key focus or foci for policy people. The GAP project is an attempt by WIDA to study country-specific circumstances in Africa, in a range of African countries, rather than talking about Africa as a whole, to study specific circumstances in terms of a range of experiences with growth. Some countries have grown really fast, some have grown slowly, some haven't grown at all. And in terms of poverty alleviation experiences, which don't map easily onto those growth scenarios. So there's room for massive learning by looking at each country and what's actually happened. Within just about every country context you can think about, inequality is at best stable and in most cases rising. And so we have made considerable gains on the absolute poverty side, but in pushing on from that and in working out how societies actually hang together, there is this puzzle where the top end have benefited too and, and in a sense are taking a greater share of national resource than the bottom end. And that's a puzzle. It takes away some latitude for government to, to build a society that on average is as good as it can be. South Africa has put a lot of money into education. We're one of the top spenders in the world as a percentage of GDP on education. But we're not getting a return from that because it doesn't seem to be capacitating our citizenry to go out there and, and do things for themselves, to be employed. So I'm researching that a lot because that seems to me like a basic right of citizenship, but not so much in terms of years of schooling, but in terms of what you actually get out of schooling. Over the next 30 years, over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years depends upon us, actually, in two key areas. In the first is international, because we're in a globalised world that's interdependent, and we need to deal with that in a collective way. And then nationally, we need to solve problems in an era that is not doctrinaire, and that realises that each country itself has to forge its own specific policies for its own circumstances.